What's your self-talk like when you're trading the markets? Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about that next. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading and today we're gonna to talk about some powerful affirmations to use when you're at the screen or when you're going through your trading process, whether you're having a good trading phase or uh, you're struggling through some challenges. The research shows that on average we have 10,000 thoughts a day and 99% of those in most people is negative. We let the mindless, the monkey mind have endless chatter in our heads about, you know, you might have just come off some really great trades and you're going, oh yeah, but most likely I'm gonna blow it on the next few because I'm gonna do something stupid. Or you've had a losing trade and you're like, oh man, why did I do that? That was so stupid, I'm such a stupid trader. Why, oh, my wife's gonna kill me. It's critical to keep your mind focused at the task at hand. If you're a professional, you're executing your trading process, you're managing your risk, you're managing your stop losses, and every trade is just another trade. So you've got to be monitoring that positive expectancy. You've got to have that edge and you've got to be focused purely on the process. So one of the things that I'm really big on, and I talk about this in the seven step daily routine for high performance traders is the mindset trading training. And the reason why that is, is that if you look back and analyze and study a lot of the, the great works, read through a lot of the traders biographies, listen to the podcast. Most of the people who have made it successfully over the long term will tell you, that they all went through a destructive phase at the beginning of their trading career. And it was the decision at some point where they realized obviously they needed to take small losses and ride their winners rather than take large losses. And that's a mind step, a mind leap, where we're conditioned neurologically, everything is backwards to what, to what we perceive we should be doing. We're so used to working hard at stuff. If you've been academically successful or successful in sport, you think that, you're going to be just as successful in trading because you're a smart person or that you've done well in everything else. So trading, therefore, you should be able to do well there. And in a lot of cases, those are the people who struggle the most because it really challenges their belief systems. They struggle to take losses. They want to be right. They want to win. So one of the big things that I'm, I'm huge on with myself is my own self-talk because if you take your mind, if you're distracted by the negativity, which we're surrounded by negativity, it's, in, it's, it's around us in all of our everyday life. A lot of the conversations that you'll have with friends and family and people who are close to you inherently is negative. You know, people will say to you, oh, what do you do? Well, I'm trading the markets. Well, I did that. That's a real gamble. Geez whiz, you're going to blow all your money on that. I wouldn't do that. You might as well go to Vegas. Or, you know, geez whiz, did you see the news? Oh, Tokyo's down 100 points. It's all, oh, people, there's the jobless rates at 8%. You know, unemployment's climbing, oh, the interest rates, oh, it's all doom and gloom. I don't watch the news, I don't read the paper, I don't really care about any of that stuff because I have a, a, a vision and a purpose and I don't want anything that's going to interfere with that coming into my mindset. All I'm focused on is how I can improve my trading, how I can improve the quality of life, the relationships with my family and the people around me, how I can provide better content for the people who are following me on the blog and on, on the YouTube channel. So I'm really focused on performance and just constant improvement. I don't have time for all the negativity because that is not going to help me become a better trader. So some of the self-talk that I use, number one, I am a successful trader. And I often will, will twist that a bit and say I am a seven-figure earner. I am a seven-figure earner as a trader. I earn seven figures trading the Forex markets. So these are the, these are the things, again, if, you ha if you've worked on your vision statement, if you haven't done so, just write something simple down. Start simple. Where is it that you want to be? Who is it that you want to become? Who is the person that you want to become? And start working towards that. That's the vision that will pull you forward day after day to be doing the right things, managing your risk, taking those losses, looking for asymmetrical risk reward opportunities, sharpening your edge, getting better every single day in the markets. I'm a seven figure earner. I'm a successful trader. I am always in control of my emotions. I've told you my story before, uh, you know, 15, 16 years of studying the markets and right off the bat, I was, I was profitable in making money and I would go back and blow up a trading account 
through one or two stupid mistakes because I didn't have these other parameters in place and really, I didn't really understand what successful trading was about. I thought it was about trying to identify entry and exit opportunities. I thought it was, a, it was about you know, piling into those trades that were for sure things. Those were usually the ones that blew up my trading account. So I, I'm always in control of my emotions. Number three, I always manage my risk. Now you've heard me talk about this over and over again. I know I set, I, for the different markets that I trade, I inherently know exactly the average stop for that market. When I'm wrong, I don't even wait for it to hit my stop. If it's, if it's close, I just get out. Um, now, sometimes there are trades that I leave on my end of day and they sit there overnight, whatever else, but I still have my maximum defined loss and position sizing in place. The only thing that will ensure your long-term success in trading is not an entry and exit strategy. It's how well you manage your risk capital. So, I always manage my risk. Number four, I only take trades where my reward clearly outweighs my risk. Now this is the second part of that. I don't believe that risk management is taking 1% loss on every trade or 1% risk on every trade. What I believe risk management really is, is being able to have that strategy where your, your, your trading plan identifies asymmetrical risk reward opportunities. So if you're risking one R and your average return on a trade is three R or four R or five R, now you know how, how easy it is to just take that loss. Cause when you're wrong, you're wrong. But when you're right, you ride that trade until it hits your target or to, till your process tells you to exit that trade. But clearly when you're identifying those asymmetrical risk reward opportunities, that's when you can exponentially grow your trading account and it's easier and easier to take those trading losses. Number five, I am not emotionally affected by my profits or losses. I love what Peter Brandt says, every trade is just another datum point in a series of datum points over your trading career. Every single trade is just another trade. So do not have an attachment to any one particular trade that it's going to save your life or it's going to set you free or this is the one, this is a for sure thing because those are the types of self-talk that are gonna allow you to move a stop or averaging into a losing trade or take too much leverage, not use a stop at all or sit on a trade until it bends your arm behind your back and almost breaks it and blow up your trading account. So write down your own list of, of trading affirmations. These are just five of my favorites. One of my other ones that I love to use, you know, when things are crazy or I'm just not sure what's happening in the markets and I just can't seem to get a good feel on things or I missed a trade or, I've, you know, frustrated because I've missed a trade. I am a rock in a sea of trading chaos. Hopefully you got some value out of today's video traders. Build your own self-talk. Be constantly in tune. Keep your mindset focused. Stay disciplined, stay focused, and keep getting better. Have a great trading week. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.